Hello everyone, back for tuning in to today's second video. We're going to have a look at the ECM WF for today's Slash! Six weeks look at for the UK and for the rest of Ireland as well. Uh, and I should get to that for you in a moment. It's going to take us to the end of March. Good gracious me. I don't know. So I'll get on with that for you in a moment. Uh, to say about the first of the day or 6 a.m. upload of weekend forecast and a 10 or 14 day coming up to you later on today as well. Please like, share, and subscribe on the video. Thank you so very much, everybody. Uh, but now, thank you so much to ECM.int for supplying the charts as well. Thank you so much, EC. Right, let's start the week one mean sea level pressure anomaly then. This is next week, 20th, 27th of February. Actually, it gets into the beginning of April. Good gracious. Of course, February is a shorter month, isn't it? <laughs> so, uh, forget that. What I said about it gets to the uh, end of March. Actually, it gets us to the beginning of April. Um, anyway, uh, week one, 20th, 27th of February. Looks like this. With high pressure out in the Atlantic. Oot. And a trough of, I'm so sorry, but a trough of low pressure through the north and west as you have a jet stream. A wind flow could do something a little bit like that, I think. The uh, 500 millibar high tsunami from the Arctic North Pole you down looks like this an area of above average heights in the Atlantic, below average heights down towards Spain and whatnot. <laughs> right, temperature anomalies next week, mild and average to the east colder on average to the west. We're near normal, but it will be a cooler week, I think, especially later on. And also, rather drier than at normal yet again. Never drive an average week to come. Right, that's that one done. Let's have a look at week two then. This will be the 27th of February to the 6th of March. Oh, high, <laughs> high pressure builds over and to the north of the UK and Ireland which would bring the wind in from an easterly direction, maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. 500 millibar height anomaly show above average heights dominating across the western parts of Europe. Goodness gracious. Oh, that's, oh. <laughs> well, that's rather strange, isn't it? Mild to the north and cold to the south. So that implies the mildest temperatures in week two, upper Scotland, and the coolest temperatures could be for England and Wales. That's rather odd, isn't it? I don't know. And the precipitation <laughs> anomaly looks very dry. Look, this would be a very, very dry February, I think, if uh, that one comes up. Right, well, that's that done. Let's have a look at week three. <laughs> yeah, 6th to the 13th of March. Here we go. Oh, oh, I don't know, do you? Low pressure in the Atlantic going down there and some low pressure there. Where's the high pressure, though? Let's put in a question mark. That's rather strange uh, anomaly, is it? Let's have a look at 500 millibar heights. Oh, got some, oh, got some high pressure up towards Greenland and Iceland, but also a little bit over France as well. That's a very strange anomaly, I don't know. Uh, I don't know what's going on there. The temperature anomaly, however... Is uh, mild of an average. And uh, precipitation wise, not much of a signal. Looks dry to the north and a little bit wet to the west and to the southwest. Right, week four. We're cooking with gas now. Week four, be the 13th to the 20th of March. Here we go. So, just generally some lower pressure uh, across the continent. What's the 500 millibar heights doing? Oh, that looks quite interesting, doesn't it? Some high pressure towards Greenland. Low pressure is in off the Atlantic. Uh, Jetsing might be to the south. So we might be on the cold side of the jet there. What's the temperature anomaly? It's going back to average. Average. Uh, <laughs> Um, so it's about a normal or no signal. I reckon that's going a bit colder though there. It could be. It might be. Um, Precipitation-wise, not much of a signal, but it could be a bit more unsettled, actually. It could be a little bit wet. So it's quite dry through uh, Scandinavia and Iceland, Greenland, etc. Uh, week 5 will be the 20th, 27th of March. Here we go. 
and uh, high pressure appearing over Scandinavia and into the Norwegian Sea. Low pressure uh, to the south. Could that be getting the wind into the east? What's the 500 millibar heights doing? Here, we, here it is. High pressure from Greenland back to Scandinavia. Low pressure over France, Spain, Portugal. Winds again could could be, could be, could be in from the east. The uh, temperature anomaly uh, is still a little bit on the mild side in the North Sea and whatnot, but actually, most that's due to sea temp temperature, obviously, I think. Um, the warm seas, most areas only around average could be actually a bit on the colder side, and precipitation anomalies look relatively dry across the north of Europe, wet across southern Europe. Uh, could that be turning cold from the east, I wonder? And then week six will be 27th of March to 3rd of April. This is it. There it is, with high pressure around Greenland and Iceland, low pressure to our south and southwest. Could that get the wind into cold northeasterly there? Delayed spring, maybe. 500 millibar heights, looks like that. Blocking around Greenland and Iceland, low pressure is underneath it temperature anomalies again we're not there's no single go car but then there never is like weeks uh three four five six um but other than around the the, the seas where of course it, it is um mild average due to the mild sea surface temperatures um other than that most areas look like they're uh, have no seal, which could be quite cold. And uh, lastly, the uh, precipitation of doubling. You know, you know, you can see where it's driest, where we've got the blocking to the north. You see where it's wettest, where we've got low pressure to the south. It looks increasingly blocked and potentially colder as we're going uh, through March and into the beginning of April. Right, that's it, Ben. That's that one done. Went all right, didn't it? Hope you enjoyed it. Right, well, that's that done. Remember, just a snapshot of what the model is showing. Could look completely different when we look at this again next week. Any forecast beyond five, seven days comes with big health warnings and large pinches of salt should be applied. We're going to be back shortly with your weekend forecast and a tenth of all things there to keep checking back to the channel. For more for this week's ECMW for two days slash six weeks. Okay, that's all for now. And thanks for watching.